Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 17th of 2023. Well, it is titled sunspot with light bridge. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a sunspot and what a sunspot is, is a darker area on the surface of the sun. It's not cold by any stretch of the imagination. It is actually still very hot. It just looks dark because it is against the surface of the much brighter sun and hotter sun. The surface temperature of the sun is around 6000 Kelvin and the temperature of the sunspot may be a couple thousand degrees lower than that. And it's lower because it is a region of intense magnetic field and that magnetic field will inhibit the flow of material from below. So it prohibits the flow of energy making it less hot than the surrounding areas of the sun. Now we also see a bridge that appears to be going around it and that would actually be more material uh, going up and in fact it is gas a very hot gas up above the surface of the sunspot. So while it looks like it's just a two dimensional image here it's actually three dimensions and that bridge is actually up above the level of the sunspot and is hotter material that has been raised above above that surface by the solar magnetic field. Now one other thing you may notice on these is that there is a lot of granulation on the solar surface. The granules that we see in the solar surface are the result of convective currents. So convec convective currents are what bring energy from part of the interior up, unto, up to the surface of the sun then releasing that energy. So you can think of the sun almost as boiling up that material. So energy can be transferred in three ways convection, conduction and radiation. Conduction is not important in an object like the sun. But in the inner very inner areas, energy is transferred by radiation particles of light photons that travel in the outer regions up to the surface it is transported by convection where that material is heated and the hot material rises releases its energy cools off and sinks back down and that process continues. Now these are actually very large areas and they could cover a good size of a larger of a good chunk of a large country. So they're not very tiny regions on the surface of the sun, but would fill a good size a good size region of a country like the United States could fill several of the larger states within one of those granules just to give an idea of how large these are. And the sunspot itself can actually be the size of Earth. So that was our picture of the day for May 17th of 2023. It was titled Sunspot with Light Bridge. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be star debris. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.